something I saw on Twitter today from Anthony Levine. I really, really appreciated it. He said, can you say something encouraging in five words or less? So I want to try that on here. So team, keep it clean. Can you all say something in the comments section encouraging uh, in five words or less? Of course, in addition to your comments about the video. But anyway, um, for the Ravens, it's been a uh, quite the offseason for them. Uh, a lot of talk has been surrounding Lamar Jackson, of course. He's been the talk of the town. And more recently, over the past couple of days, he's been the talk because he hasn't been uh, in town. Uh, I've seen a lot of people saying this and that. Oh, Lamar Jackson, uh, he's a diva. Lamar Jackson, does he really want it? Lamar Jackson, he's taken away from his teammates. Lamar Jackson, he's being selfish. Lamar Jackson, he doesn't want to be with the Ravens anymore. Lamar Jackson, oh, he wants to get out. And it's been a lot of just back and forth about it some people saying hey he needs to be at otas if he really wants the super bowl he got to work with these new receivers work with these new teammates he needs to be there other people like hey yeah we would love if he was there but it's voluntary voluntary means you do not have to be there and it's not a big deal if he's not there and, and both sides have kind of been going back and forth uh, but the Ravens, they've been in the background watching all this stuff. And Harbaugh's like, hey, I, he can speak for himself on why he's not here. He, he, he can talk for himself. Now, that part it had me a little bit concerned because last time Harbaugh said that, uh, he said that about um, the fullback, Ben Mason. Because y'all remember that? Remember when Ravens, they, they, and of course, two different players, but still the same coach with the same response. He could say it for himself. They asked why Ben Mason wasn't back, why he wasn't, why he didn't get signed with the practice squad, or what happened. And then Harbaugh was like, Ben Mason could talk for himself. But anyway, uh, so we'll see what happens with Lamar. I ain't tripping about it right now. Um, and the Ravens, they are doing exactly what we said that they should do uh, in every situation this offseason, and that's stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. So they signed Brett Huntley. They have Tyler Huntley, but they also signed Brett Hundley. Um, and if we all remember him, it's funny, timing is everything. Marlon Humphrey in Studio 44, uh, when he was talking to Rashad Bateman, um, Rashad Bateman was telling him, hey, I modeled my game after uh, he said Odell Beckham Jr. He, of course, talked about Heinz Ward and Antonio Holmes, too. But he also mentioned Devontae Adams. You know, Devontae Adams plays for the Packers. Well, he used to play for the Packers. Slipped up there. I forgot he got traded to the Raiders. But um, Marlon Humphrey was talking about uh, when he first played against Devontae Adams. He said Devontae Adams hit him with a nasty slant, and he was gone. He was going quick, fast, and in a hurry. But Marlon was like, oh, I'm grateful that I had help on the inside to deal with that. But do you remember who the quarterback was in that game when they went against those Green Bay Packers? It was Huntley. It was Huntley. It was Brett Huntley. So he threw three picks in that game. One went to Marlon Humphrey, so he caught a pick in there. Uh, one went to Jimmy Smith, and the third one, ooh, I do not remember who that third one went to. But anyway, uh, so he, Huntley's been helping the Ravens out uh, for a little minute. So they just returned the favor. They're like, hey, come, come, come through, homeboy. And what, what this is, this is, like I said, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Lamar Jackson, he's not there. Um, but this, to me, this gives me an indication that they do not expect Lamar Jackson to be there. That's where I start to get a little bit concerned, just a little bit. Because um, obviously, I, I am 1,000% I am sure. I don't know for a fact. But in my mind, I would believe that Lamar Jackson wouldn't just be like, oh, no, I'm not showing up, and, and not give a reason why. So I'm sure the Ravens know exactly why Lamar Jackson is there. I'm sure, again, Harbaugh and EDC and Bashadi and different teammates, they, they know why he's not there. But they're not going to be like, oh, Lamar's not there because of this. Oh, Lamar not Harbaugh said he's going to let Lamar speak on that. So, again, that's why that's why there's a little bit of concern is creeping up. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy right now. Um, but hopefully this ends up being one of those things uh, where it's like, all right, oh, okay, it wasn't no big deal. Because that's usually what happens with stuff. With a lot of stuff surrounding Lamar Jackson, um, a lot can be made uh, of a bunch of nothing. Because we'll be thinking, oh, man, could it be that? Could it be this? Could it be this? Could it be that? Could it be that? Could it be that? Then once it gets explained, whatever it ends up being, it's like, oh, okay, that's it. Oh, okay, cool, cool. All right, moving on. So hopefully uh, this will be a lot of that same stuff. But this is just the Ravens prepping. 
Um, just them not wanting to just have their only quarterbacks be Tyler Huntley and um, and Anthony Brown, the undrafted rookie free agent from uh, Oregon. So, because if those if those are the only two guys that are throwing the ball to these receivers, it's like you don't you don't want their arms to get tired, man. And they still they, this ain't even training camp. This is earth. This is the first step in this whole thing. This is OTAs. So Ravens got and NFL got a long time to go. So you don't want these dudes' arms to get worn out at OTAs. Like if 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 they needed an extra arm, like they could have signed me. They could they could have signed me and they could have saved a little bit of money that they used for uh for Hundley. And I know it ain't gonna be done much, but I could have done it. No problem. I text Lamar and say, hey, you whatever you got going on, just relax. I got it from here. And I mess around. I mess around and maybe had to take that starting job from Lamar. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is this is them just prepping for that. Um, but yeah, it does make me feel like the Ravens may expect Lamar Jackson to be away for a while. Um, for how long is that while? Is it a week? Is it two weeks? I don't even know. None of us know. None none of us know anything. But this move, it. It says that, oh, hey, Lamar ain't here right now. So, okay, we got to deal with who is here right now. And we got to actually ask somebody. So the people who are here right now, they don't get worn out. Doesn't mean that Lamar Jackson wants to be traded. No, doesn't mean that Lamar Jackson doesn't want to be there. No, of course. We, we did the video a couple of days ago talking about what Lamar said. Hey, I, I can't wait to get back. I can't wait to get back. And, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people can't wait for him to get back either. Uh, now, I do think it would benefit Lamar being at OTAs. I, I do think it would benefit him because uh, and, and even though you're not installing all the game plans and all that, you ain't doing nothing crazy in OTAs. You're doing a lot of uh, pitching, catch, a lot of tossing the ball around, uh, going through basic, 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 basic stuff. Um, but I, I did love, I love, 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 love how Marlon Humphrey put it yesterday. Because he said it's, it's, it's best to, to be practicing with the guys who you're going to be playing with all year. Now, uh, while I do think it would benefit Lamar to be there because he got new guys, and, and this is another opportunity just for you to get acclimated with them. Him not being there, um, I like how my guy uh, Jimmy Dean put it in the spaces yesterday. He said it best. He said, does, this, does him missing two days so far, Probably going to be more, but does him missing these two days of OTAs have a negative impact on him in week one going against the Jets? If the answer is yes, okay, but if the answer is no, it's not a big deal. And right now, it's not a big deal. Now, say for, like Mar again, Marlon Humphrey again says I'm good. Now, he said if this was training camp, ooh, that's, okay, then that'd be a whole other story right there. This is training camp, that, that would be different. But it's not training camp. It's not. It's not training camp. This is OTAs. Voluntary OTAs. Not mandatory OTAs. Not, hey, you need to be here OTAs. It's voluntary. You can be here if you like. You can choose to be here if you want. If you're not here, though, it's okay. And I know a lot of people's argument in this whole thing is, oh, well, look at these other guys. They're not at OTAs. Marcus Williams not there, Calais Campbell not there, all these other guys not there. It's a little different, though, when it's the quarterback and the situation that the Ravens are in with Lamar Jackson. Because I, li I like how Jeff Zrebic described it, just as it being kind of a little bit awkward, just a little bit. Because the Ravens say publicly, hey, we want to pay Lamar. Uh, and they've also said publicly, hey, Lamar doesn't want to do the contract thing right now. So like, okay, he just want to focus on football. Okay, cool. I understand that. We've been saying the same thing even before the Ravens said that. Because had he signed a deal now, the money, I mean, the money will be there. But it wouldn't be the most money that he could possibly get. And he goes out there, finishes this season, stays healthy, does his thing, get back to Lamar Jackson. Especially with having this revamped, rebuilt offensive line. Then yeah, his, his, his money going to be much better than it would be his future money would be much better than it would be if he signed in the past already so betting on himself i love it i love it 
Um, so yeah, man, we'll see how this whole thing ends up working itself out. And all we can do is wait. That's all we can do. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show, wait for Lamar to show up at OTAs. And well, whenever he does show up. Whenever he does show up. But I know that's uh <laughs> when he does show up, I know a lot of Ravens fans. They they gonna be going crazy. They gonna be throwing celebrations. They gonna be throwing some food on the grill. Oh, Lamar showed up. All right, let's go grill some steak. All right, Lamar showed up. Hey, throw that asparagus on. You know what? Let's not even steak. Let's grill some lamb. Ooh, lamb is just so oh, it's so good. Steak is good too now, but lamb, lamb, like it takes it to another level, especially the flavor and. And you, if you make it the right Anyway Let's do it So Team Keep It Clean I appreciate y'all I love y'all And just like Lamar Jackson When it comes to being at OTAs I'm out